Hey there everyone, my name is Vokey Shepton from the Guys Who Play Games, and I'm here today with, uh, I don't know if I'd call it an interesting topic, but it's a topic nonetheless because it's something that I'm not sure if most people even are aware of this, but, uh, it, it, it's something I can talk about, I mean, I haven't really, I've been wanting to do more Halo topics for a while, and... It always feels like someone else out there has done it, what I've done, what I want to do, but better. But for some reason, this is, I guess maybe because it's a niche topic, but it's something I haven't seen talked about at all. And it's another one of those, uh, like, mistakes that uh, happened. I don't even know. I always say this. I don't know if it's actually a mistake, but it's probably a mistake because it's a typo, basically. So... Uh, if you've ever used the Fear Rod gun in Halo 2, right, the frog, you know, our, our frog cannon, is very strong, it's really strong in Halo 2, like, the explosion is ridiculously strong against players and, like, elites and stuff, compared to 3, where, like, like, to give you an idea, in 2, like, a direct hit kills a player, like, on any, like, in multiplayer, and, like, I think on heroic or higher, it'll kill you in one hit, right? Meanwhile, in Halo 2, you know, direct hit just takes out your shields. Halo Reach brought back the instant kill, but the actual explosion of the fraud gun in Reach is really weak. Whereas in Halo 2, not only does it instant kill with a direct hit, but the actual explosion is really strong. And... Oh, I forgot there's an impact damage. So, the reason for that is actually because of a typo. So... Uh, in every Halo game, right, the Fraud Gun does explosion large type damage. If you don't know what this is, this is, like, there's a bunch of damage types that the game uses. Like, I can show you over here. Like, these are all the damage types that are used in Halo 2. Uh, there's a couple extra ones in Halo 3 onward and such, but these are the ones in Halo 2. This is, like, the main brunt of it, basically, where every type of damage falls into one of these categories. And then these damage categories interact with these types of armor, essentially. Right? Most thing, a lot of damage types are just multipliers of one. Like you can see, like material is like the default. That anything that isn't described in one of these will use material as a default. Because it's like the default material type. But, um, whether, whether this is, uh, I don't know how, like, I don't know what kind of, like, catch, catching they have for this, but. Uh, basically, the reason why the fraud gun is strong, as you can probably guess, and you might have even noticed by now, is that if you look here, the general damage of the fraud gun is not explosion large, but explosion large. Instead of an E, they put a W, right? Typoed one letter, because the W is right next to the E. And this actually has pretty big ramifications for uh, the damage that this thing does, especially to like players and to like heavy vehicles and stuff basically so uh when the halo engine I, I i'm even i would even extend this to the tools too the halo engine and its tools are pretty versatile and robust and they're pretty good at dealing with stuff like this because of this typo essentially it just kind of ignores it and just treats it as i'm not sure if it either ignores it or if it just treats us the same as like having it be empty but either way because it is empty i mean i guess Fundamentally, there's no difference because of the way it does it. So, as you can see here, for example, like you can see, this is explosion large, and this is like you know the damage it does to a lot of things. You know, it doesn't do any damage to water, which most things don't. I'm not sure why they even bothered like differentiating that, but I guess it's just as like a just in case maybe for the future. Maybe they had ideas for like getting rid of water. Who knows? But uh, you can see that it's one for a lot of things, but once you start getting into more specific things like Tartarus doesn't take damage from explosions, you know. And then you can also see like uh, you know, hard flood flesh. hard flood flesh doesn't actually get used in the game because this is used for juggernauts. But since juggernauts are unused, it doesn't get used at all. But juggernauts would only take a little damage from big explosions. There's explosion small, by the way, which is used for like grenades generally. And then explosion large is generally used for like rockets and like big, you know, like large explosions. You can start to see like more specific things like all the brittle types like the brittle is used for a lot of like specific target stuff like the guns on a ghost are brittle electric i think uh there's like brittle glass brittle electric which a lot of like 
all around like for, this is a big thing for like vehicles a lot of vehicles have small parts and they're considered brittle they're essentially weak points because brittle tends to take more damage from a lot of stuff and then we get to the the important thing here though is energy energy gets used for as you can imagine a lot of energy shield and stuff energy shield thin in particular is the type of shields that the player uses and as you can see here explosion launch actually deals half damage to a player's shields Halo 3 and Onward actually even expanded on this and it made it so that uh, if we go to Hard Metal Thin here, Hard Metal Thin is the armor type that your armor, like your non-shields use. And Halo 3 Onward, your shield, your, whatchamacallit, your non-shields take half damage from all explosions too, right? But in Halo 2, it's just your shields, so that's why when you're low on shields, or like even just a little bit like weak on shields, explosions will just kill the shit out of you in Halo 2. But, uh, you can see, like, it even does half damage to jackal shields. Like, energy shield thick is used for, like, jackal shields, and I think for the big portable shields that are laying around. And obviously, invincible, as you can imagine, is used for Tartarus's invincible shields. Also, got sentinels and stuff. So, this is the big thing. Because it does half damage to shields, right? That, and that implies to both the large explosion, like, the actual explosion, and the impact damage, which you see here, also uses, uh, Explosion Large too. So everything uses Explosion Large. That means it always deals half damage to shields. And if we actually add it up, uh, the impact does 100 damage and then the actual explosion does 90. So obviously 190, you know, divided by 2 does 95 damage. Uh, which actually I think would still be enough to kill you even without the typo because of... Uh, you have In this game, in campaign at least, you have 70 shields and 30 health. And uh, multiplayer, your health gets bumped up to 45, but I still think that would kill you. If it would, if it didn't kill you, it would be like you would be basically dead. Uh, but because of this typo, right? This doesn't use these numbers at all. In fact, I would assume it probably, even if it ignores or not, it just uses the blank value. So because there's everything has a general damage and a specific damage. Specific damage generally is used for stuff like. Uh, where is it? Like, sniper is specific. So you can see that if you look at the sniper, for example, sniper just has one for a lot of places, and then it'll just have four for a couple of spots, like hunter, flesh, uh, Tartars doesn't take damage from sniper rifles because they don't want Johnson to kill him for you. Although, there's another thing, I, I might even talk about this in this video because that would actually be a fun thing to talk about. A weird oversight that is ever actually related to armor types, so maybe I will talk about that after this too but it also you know sniper rifles in Halo 2 deal double damage to shields just like in Halo 1 uh, and then it deals 10 times damage to invincible shields that's why the beam rifle can actually take out Tartarus' shields fairly easily like technically it's interesting because if you look at uh, I think it's plasma fast plasma fast actually does deal damage to energy shield invincible it only deals 10% of its damage compared to you know the beam rifles a hundred times damage I guess, relatively speaking, it would be a thousand percent damage. It's done like this because the beam rifle does plasma fast as its general damage, and it, sniper is its specific thing because specific is generally just used for small little multipliers just to make sure everything works. All right, uh, but I digress. You can see that all the stuff, but because uh, it's general damage, like for things that don't have specific damage, it just has an empty box. And essentially, it doesn't really matter. Like, this is the names, but it doesn't really matter which ones you use. So, for the general damage, because it's, you know, a typo, it just kind of... I mean, I don't know if it ignores it. I don't know. That's, I'm sure some somebody could tell me, but it doesn't really matter fundamentally. Because essentially, because it doesn't use... Explosion Large, it uses this empty one that they have here. And the empty one is just one for everything. Right? So that means that instead of dealing half damage to your shields, for example, it deals normal damage to your shields. And since that does 90 damage, right? That means that just being next to the explosion will almost kill you in campaign on Heroic. And on Legendary, you're basically just dead if you're anywhere near the explosion. Because it deals, you know, Legendary bumps the damage up to one and a half times from Heroic's one times. You can see that though, that's why and that's why it's so strong, and especially because the explosion is pretty big in Halo 2, right? I think they nerfed 
the explosion radius down a bit in later games. But yeah, you can see like a direct hit will kill you, kill the hell out of you. I think it kills you even on normal. A direct hit will kill you, and on heroic and up, it's like it can, you know, it does a ton of damage even just being near the explosion. And this didn't really matter that much because, as far as campaign was aware, like it, whatever, it was strong in Halo 2, and it didn't actually show up in multiplayer at all, right? There's no throwout guns on any maps in Halo 2's multiplayer. But then, of course, as you can imagine, it got ported to MCC. Well, you know, wh whatever that shebang is, if you want to call it a port. But uh, now, all of a sudden, you can use the throwout gun on maps because it can be in Fiesta, and you can just, you know, have it be on maps and stuff and spawn with it. I think. But uh, because of that, you know, it's a lot more noticeable how strong it is, right? And, I mean, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in regards to this topic. Um, and we can talk a little bit about fans, the fun damage types. Like, there's a no damage damage type, which I'm not 100% sure this gets used. I think this just gets used for a couple... Oh, it actually just damaged the Sentinels. That is probably actually how it kills some Sentinels, but... um. I think no damage gets used for like certain like cinematic stuff. Like there'll be a big explosion that has no damage as its thing. But it does it like that because there's other things attached to damage effects, like uh, the player responses, and it can shake your screen and stuff. And I think that can be influenced by the damage it deals, even if it has no damage. I would assume, but it might also just be used for a certain like I know there's one moment in Sacred Icon right where it blows up all the enforcers and Sentinels, and it does it in like a you can script them to just die, but I think uh, doing it like this would make them like explode like an EMP, right? Their little EMP effect when they die from like a big damage type. Um, I guess one other thing I could talk about, since this is kind of related, I might as well talk about it here, is, uh, you. I mean, I mentioned this earlier, like Tartarus doesn't take damage from beam rifles, right? So, technically speaking, uh, Johnson shouldn't be able to kill Tartars, right? Because if you look here, right, he uses uh, Plasma Fast, you know, the Beam Rifle uses Plasma Fast and Sniper. And if you look at uh, Plasma Fast, right, Plasma Fast does do damage to Tartars, but Sniper doesn't do damage at all, right? It does zero, which a zero multiplier always means zero damage, right? It's, you know, just like in real life. <laughs> Imagine that, math in real life. Did you know what this thing that they made in real life? works just like it does in real life but uh so it shouldn't be able to deal damage to tartars but here's the thing if you sit around for long enough like the tartars boss fight is kind of a uh, uh silly because if you just sit around for long enough it actually does start like johnson can just kill tartars and like the thing with tartars is that he has a special thing applied to him where he's supposed to only take damage from uh the player which is why the elite allies you have on during that mission can't do anything to Tartarus except like stun him with their like force hard ping, which is like the sword and then the other explosions and stuff, right? But like if you sit around forever, like the elites will never kill him. But Johnson can because to get around this, you know, Johnson's on the like Johnson is considered on the player's team, which means that you know even if you betray your elite allies and they you know turn on you, Johnson's still on your side. But uh. That's how they deal with that, because they they wanted only you and Johnson to be, like, meaningfully interacting with Tartars. The rest is just for funsies. But, if you sit around for a while, eventually Johnson will actually kill Tartars, even if you're not doing anything. And, like, even though he's not supposed to be able to even damage Tartarus. And you might be wondering, well, what's up with that? Why, why does that happen? And that is, uh, a, a very interesting, I'm not even sure if I'd call it an oversight, but a very interesting quirk of how the game engine like handles like damaging specific body parts right so let's go to brute here i think does tartarus have his own like thing yeah he does okay so this is tartarus's model this is what handles like a lot of like his damage regions and stuff his models like his different variants and stuff right we can see right here right this is the big thing his materials here right all of his body parts like his head his helmet and his body all use the Tough organic flesh, brute Tartarus body type, or like, what you call like that's that's the material type he uses, which has you know, armor attached for it and stuff, and that's why, you know, he who use that armor type for everything, right? And that's kind of how it works for most characters, right? Uh, 
Like, like a lot of enemies will have the same armor type for everything, but like certain ones, like like hunters, for example, right? Like, uh, if we look at hunters, there's our pal hunter. If we go to hunters, for example, here, and look at hunters for a second here. And we can see that hunters have their hard metal solid armor type, but then their skin uses the soft organic flesh hunter, which is basically like their weak point, right? Vehicles will use this a lot. Like a lot of vehicles have a bunch of different points that they can be damaged. In fact, I'll even look this up just to showcase it, just you know, for completion's sake, right? We go to the Warthog model, right? See the Warthog model here. You can go to the materials, right? You've got tough or inorganic for the rubber tires. You've got hard metal thick for the like the body of it and stuff for various parts of the body. And I think there's a brittle, yeah, for the glass, uses the brittle glass part. And all these things, all these different parts have their uh, armor types assigned to it. So if you shoot, like, the tires, right, it, it, it does, di like, you could say, like, it's not even necessarily, like, weak points. It's just different armor types. So, like, it'll take different damage from different things, right? And that's kind of how that works. But... The thing is, is that there's one big like I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it an oversight. One big oversight with this for a lot of like the characters in the game, like for jackals and stuff. Actually, you'll notice. In fact, I'll even show this. This doesn't happen to jackals. This is why sometimes jackals, especially jackal snipers, uh, sometimes seem like they're taking a lot more shots than you would expect them to. So I'm going to go over to the Jackal thing here, right? They use, like, they have energy shield. Their energy shield uses a different damage type than the rest of them. But for the most part, it works the same, right? So I want you to notice what's the one big thing that stands out here that's completely different, right? And it's the, it's, uh, I guess I'll, I mean, I can't really see my mouse. But it's these two things right here takes body damage for children and takes shield damage for children this is the big thing right here so what these two values essentially mean is that uh it means exactly what you would th i mean it sounds like it, it means if you know what you know any programming terms essentially tartarus will take damage will take damage in place of Anything he's like that is attached to him essentially anything that's attached to him He will take damage if that attachment is shot right that thing won't take damage. He will take damage, right? And This is big because uh, As you can imagine Tartarus actually has you know, you might think like well What's attached to Tartarus that can be shot? That's not part of him and as if you you know, you might have guessed But maybe you didn't guess and let's go to the thing that obviously is attached to him that you can shoot at but you know doesn't have like its own health which is his gravity hammer his gravity hammer uses hard metal thick so because of that his you know his gravity hammer is essentially a weak point right his well I don't, I don't you know what i mean it takes damage individually from tartars and it has a different material type but because it is attached to him uh he will take damage when you shoot his gravity hammer right and because this gravity hammer uses hard metal thick instead of you know tough organic flesh brute tartarus if we go to say the sniper if we go to hard metal thick the sniper actually deals one times damage to hard metal thick and then if we go to plasma fast it only takes 25 percent damage of you know the regular 100 percent but that's still that still is damage that exists and that means that tartarus will eventually die because johnson will simply shoot his gravity hammer over and over again until eventually he just dies and this works for a, a lot of things actually like this is why for example jackals sometimes seem tankier like i said because they don't take shield or body damage for their children so if you shoot their big fat sniper rifle it'll knock them backward because it forces a hard ping but it does not do any damage to them or at least not like uh, no it doesn't do damage because they don't take damage for their children at all right so no matter what, you can shoot them their beam rifle forever and they will just, they'll keep getting knocked backward, but it won't do any damage to them. Which is why sometimes it can seem annoying because like you'll be shooting them, they'll just like not die. They won't even flinch if you're shooting their uh, weapon with certain weapons because like 
they're not taking damage. So there's no pinging involved, right? There's no soft or hard pings. And this guy, actually, uh, this is interesting too, because if we look at, uh, I believe, if we go to the, where is it? Let's go to the Master Chief, I guess. Let's go to Master Chief. If we go to Master Chief's model, let's just close Tartars here and get rid of that. Go to Master Chief's model here, you can see that. Master Chief, and this extends to Arbiter as well, they do take shield damage for children. And since they use Hard Metal Thin as their armor type, uh, hard metal thing takes very little damage from like this is just an interesting example this is why sometimes also why you might think wow that elite shooting me with a plasma rifle kill me really fast this time normally it takes like i think even on legendary right the plasma rifle does 10 damage multiply that by one and a half to 15 and but then when it hits hard metal thin right plasma slow is what it uses if you go to Hard Metal Thin, you can see it only does 35% of its damage right, to your actual health. So, like, with that 30 health you have in campaign, right, even on Legendary, right, it gets reduced down to, like, uh, what is it, like, it would do something like 6 damage, so it would kill you, and, like, it takes out your shields in, like, just a couple shots, but it still, would like, you would die in, like, I think, like, 8 or 9 shots on Legendary. But sometimes you might think, like, wow, I died really fast that time. And as you can probably guess... It's because you can take da your weapon takes damage when it gets shot too, and your weapon doesn't like use your values, right? It'll use whatever the values of the weapon are. So, for example, uh, I mean, I guess I'll just pick like a random weapon. The thing that would be the most obvious to shoot would be like a big, some big like wall, like uh, I guess a beam rifle actually. Like, say you're carrying a beam rifle, and the elite starts shooting at you, and you're like, oh crap! He uses hard metal thin too, but there are exceptions to that. Uh, uses hard metal thin co weapon. Let me see this. So we can actually go look at what the different armor types are down here. Do I have it on expert mode yet? I'm actually not 100% sure about this, by the way, because I haven't actually tested. But I think in some cases it might actually ignore the armor type of the weapon too. It's it's weird the way the game works. But um, it's got a hard metal thin here. You can see it. This is basically like all the different material types in the entire game, right? So hard metal thin, you can see like it has a general armor, and then everything that's uh, a child of hard metal thin will generally use that. But like, um... okay, maybe I'm wrong about this. I know I've seen it to where people seem to die way faster sometimes, and I'm not sure if that's related to some weird thing. Like, uh, if, let's look at the carbine for example. Does carbine use this too? Yeah, it uses hard metal thin cup weapon. Huh. Oh, but it doesn't have a damage section because it... So maybe it... I don't even... Sh I'm not even sure about this one. So take that one with a grain of salt, this last little topic. I'm not actually sure about this. I'm kind of going way off topic. I wanted this to just be about the drug gun and I kind of talked about weird armor type interactions in general. But uh, I digress. That'll be it for this weirdo topic. Uh, yeah, so yeah, see you guys later.